No matter what kind of boat you own, sooner or later, you're going to have to dip a paintbrush in a paint can. I'm Ken Chrysler, Senior Editor of Power and Motor Yacht Magazine. I'd like to welcome you to PMY TV. Today's project is restoring this fiberglass dinghy. Now, as you can readily see, she's in desperate need of a really good washing. But there are other problems. There's crazing along the hull, and there's lots of dings on the skeg. We have to take care of that first. Now, before we get started, I'm going to switch over to Jim Seidel, Assistant Marketing Manager for Intellux Paints, to run through the procedure and the products we're going to be using to get this thingy back in shape. Okay, today what we're going to be using is we're going to start with the boat soap to clean it off, get most of the uh, most of the big residue off. Any stains, we'll use our heavy-duty stain remover to take those stains out. Once the hull is clean. We'll get the wax off, any residual wax that might be there, Teflon, silicone, suntan lotion with the fiberglass surface prep. Once we get it all dry and clean, then we'll start using the epiglass epoxy. We'll make it into a, probably a consistency of ketchup. We'll, sque we'll squeegee that into the crazing and cracking. Then we'll come back and any big chunks, any large areas that are missing gel coat, we'll fill that with the watertight. And then we'll do some priming. And finally, we'll finish with perfection, the two-part polyurethane perfection. So it's a multi-step process that we're going to be going through. But cleaning is the first step. Preparation is 90% of the job. With spring a few weeks away here in the Northeast, the timing is perfect for this project. Jim and I set up outside Interlux's Union, New Jersey facility and get to work. The soap is concentrated, so two capfuls make plenty of suds for our sponges and brushes. After washing and a quick rinse, we're ready to apply the stain remover. We use a brush to apply the liquid to make sure we coat all the stains before leaving it on a few minutes to do the job. Removing any stains that are left after the washing is very important as the surface must be free of any contaminants. Not doing so will compromise the surface and prevent the paint from adhering.